Hey guys, and welcome to today's vlog. We have another day in the life of a pregnant housewife. Today is a little bit of a busy itinerary, so of course I'm gonna take you guys along with me. On the agenda today, we are grabbing lunch with a friend, catching up on some nine to five work, Saturday resetting this house because I've noticed that I've been slacking on cleaning during the weekend and it's really irritating me on Sunday, Monday, the beginning of the week. So we're gonna do a Saturday reset. The house is not terrible, but I just wanna set myself up, you guys know. And last but not least, we have a karaoke birthday party to go to tonight. So today is a lot of leaving the house, socializing, productivity, and I have not been doing a lot of leaving the house and socializing, so it's gonna be an exciting different day that I have not been used to for a while. So let's get ready because I need to leave the house soon to go grab lunch with my friend. Also, shout out to my mommy-in-law. She saw my vlog. I think it was my last vlog that I was like twisting my hair and she got me the same exact thing that I was talking about, which is so sweet and thoughtful. So thank you so much. This is my first day officially trying it out. I tried it for like a few minutes the day that she gave it to me and I could see that it was starting to work, but I didn't leave it in as long. And I didn't sleep with this overnight. I already have a lot going on, you guys, with this little girl, so I feel like I just need to be as comfortable as possible, and this is one thing that is going to make me a little bit less comfortable, so I just left it in for maybe an hour, and by the time like I get finished with my makeup, my hair should definitely be dry. I also put a little bit of mousse in there to hold. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup i made myself a coffee but since i'm getting ready in the bathroom i always feel weird about bringing like food beverages in the bathroom so i feel sad that my coffee is just sitting and waiting for me also how cute is this i can't remember where i got this i think honestly it actually came with this little set of sponges and you can just set your sponge in there so that it's not touching the surface runs up the face to do this before but I forgot. I have been loving this blush. It's the Halo Glow in Berry Radiant by e.l.f. Inexpensive, so pretty. I feel like it sounds so funny that I'm just literally like smacking my cheeks. Some my nose. Set it with some more blush. I haven't done this in a while, but I think I want to do like a little inner corner highlight. Hi. You're too tall. Hmm? You're too tall. <laughs> the moment of reveal for my hair. Sure. Oh no. I only had it in for like less than an hour. Oh my gosh, it's already coming apart. <laughs> okay. Do the honors and Hold this and wiggle it up. Yeah, 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 like that, just like that. <gasps> Does it? It actually did something. Oh, maybe it'll do something for you too. <laughs> Does it look okay? No, that's straight. Oh, wow. It looks nice. So. I literally had it for like less than an hour too. Yeah, very, very springy. The spring, it'll fall. My hair falls like it, it won't look like this in a little bit. Do the, do the thing again that you're just doing. This? The little tease thing you're just doing. This? Yeah. I just got a little bit of it. You're really like, Johnny, you're in my 
tired. No, it's fine. It looks nice. I'm, I'm satisfied. Okay, I need to change and head out the door soon. The outfit is on and you guys, <laughs> if you see me wear the same outfits in a row, leave me alone because when you're pregnant, there are very few things that fit you, feel comfortable, and make you feel good. This is one of those outfits that checks all of the above, and it just works, and it's easy, so we're gonna go with it. <laughs> so this is a onesie, compliments to my mommy-in-law, she got me this also. This cardigan is from Fashion Nova, and then my shoes, if I can. They're like these little booties that I found on clearance at TJ Maxx a few years ago, and it was $5. Such a steal, I will never stop mentioning how I came about those little boots, so. All right, we are ready to go. I need to grab gas, and then we're gonna go get tacos, food, ketchup, and yeah, let's go. If anyone knows any recommendations of how to deal with little frizzies, cause I get like frizzies that pop up up here. I saw this like wax thing that you can go like that and put it on your head. So I need to look into that. I don't even think it's that expensive, but it just really irritates me. And I feel like serums make my hair look greasy and oily and I hate that. If I just washed my hair, I don't want my hair to look oily and greasy. So if anyone has any recommendations, please let me know because I just hate when it's like this. It's cute, but it's just frizzy. <laughs> I just got home. Tell me why it's literally midnight. Not actually, it's only like 5.30. But I came home and when I was on my way home, I got a text message from my mother-in-law and y'all, she has been spoiling me recently. My husband and I's anniversary is coming up and she got me the cutest dress. Look at this dress. I can't, I love it. It looks so cute. And it's so comfortable. <laughs> so honestly, guys, I feel like I was a little overconfident in my goals for today. And I didn't really have that much time in between coming home and having to leave for the karaoke thing so whatever i don't finish today is getting carried over into tomorrow because it just has to we're here <laughs> Sunday I am finishing up getting ready and we're gonna head to church really soon this sermon series is so cool and unique that my church is doing it's called at the movies and we're literally having popcorn and watching basically a movie they kind of compress it into like the main parts and our pastor interjects and teaches us biblical truths from more relatable seemingly modern day everyday life type of thing so it's a really really cool sermon series this is week two of it last week we did creed three i think and it was it was really great so i'm really excited to see what movie they're going to be talking about and showing today because we do not know ahead of time we just show up for a surprise so super fun um i'm really excited what is it called when um not a barista, not a bartender for smoothies. A Shakeologist? This is mine. I just asked for a little one. Do you like Shakeologist? I do like Shakeologist. 
Shakeologist. Okay, you're a Shakeologist. Wait, did you put all the same stuff in mine? What? Why? Yours actually kind of sucks. What? It wasn't the best work. What? You can taste mine and see if you like it. We'll try it. Try it first. Okay. Did you put cinnamon? You didn't put cinnamon. See, I told you he's a shakeologist. He put in all this. I taste the honey. You put honey in mine too? Mm -mm. It's not bad. It's good. Not your best work though. <laughs> oh, it's vanilla. What did you put in mine? Yeah, I did put vanilla in there, but it's not <laughs> You just put salt in there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> salt brings out the flavor. Yeah, I guess. Today we're going to examine the movie, The Founder. In 1954, traveling milkshake machine salesman, Ray Kroc, observed that many of the drive-in restaurants that he tried to sell to were inefficiently ran. There's a very small minority of people who neither live in chaos nor controlled, incubated environments. From their relationships to their faith, from career to friendships, they are looking to maximize every inch of their life. In John chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus said, I came so that you could have life indeed, so that you can live life to the fullest. The God we serve is not a God of small thinking, play it safe, make sure you can control everything living. He is the Ephesians 3.20 God, exceeding and abundantly above all you could ever ask, think, or imagine. Trader Joe's trip successful. You should pick up the load. You gotta drop the load. Oh. Okay. They have convinced me to work out it's honestly been a little minute since i've worked out so i'm i need to but yeah what are we doing upper body what we're doing upper body right no and we're coincidentally matching but she's the outlier yeah in her shirt <laughs> <laughs> checking in it is nighttime nighttime honestly i feel like pregnancy hormones really got the best of me today i am a pretty patient easygoing not much usually bothers me type of person but today i woke up and it was the smallest things that were just like really irritating me like my hair not being in a ponytail and having little bumps like a proper ponytail that annoyed me i put on my mascara and like the whole bottom part like smudged really bad and i was like why so it's just like the beginning my morning little things and throughout like the day progressing just like small things that don't usually bother me or i have patience about was just very overstimulating so it was just that type of day um, I spent most of the afternoon catching up on work, which was on my to-do list, so I'm so happy that I was able to get a good chunk of it done, and I just started to feel a little bit 
so I decided to take a break but honestly it's like pretty late so I'm gonna have to head to bed soon and I'm totally totally fine with that so I'm gonna end the vlog here things are not always picturesque and perfect and that is totally okay and this is real life guys so I'm so glad that I got to bring you guys along this weekend I would say that I was still pretty productive this weekend and was able to socialize catch up with people so that was a plus all right i'm about to head to bed love you guys god bless you and i will see you so soon